This tutorial video provides an overview of Visicon's snapping modes that were introduced in version 1.3 and now support more accurate measurements. You'll find your new snapping option under the home ribbon or as a permanently placed new icon on the taskbar at the bottom. We've introduced four primary snapping modes, surface, centerline, grids, and clip planes. Each of those can be further customized by snapping options to points, edges, where applicable angles and intersections. Let's switch to a live model. We've now opened up one of Revit's sample architectural models. What we'll do is we'll zoom in a little bit, pick one of these front panels. As you'll recognize here, the behavior before was when you selected a component, you would highlight the object, but you wouldn't get any explicit snapping points. Now, however, if I go and turn on my snap, which is a toggle that I find on the home ribbon, and we'll start with investigating the surface snapping behavior. As I select an object, you can now clearly see that its edges and its points are now highlighted for snapping. And you can see that that applies to any of the objects that I'm selecting. So here you can see that with the window panes and every object has its snap points. So let's go and run some measurements. So we're gonna to go to measure, linear. So, and you notice that as I hover when I'm in measure mode, as I hover over any of these objects, now this, the snap points that have been turned on are visible. So here I can now come in and I hover my mouse across the surface, select that first snap point, and then select a second snap point right there. And it shows me that I have a me an exact measurement of 381.178 millimeters. We'll repeat the linear measurement. This time we're gonna to come to the bottom and you see I snap to that point right there and snap to that point right there. And it tells me that my measurement is exactly 3.303 meters. So with the snapping options, Visicon now provides very accurate and very easy to use snapping to any point or edge along objects. Let's go ahead and clear these measurements and explore the next snapping option. So we're gonna to go to our clip plane selections option. So the, what that does is it allows you to take accurate measurements on dimensions that are only presented once you cut a section. So for example, I'm gonna take this surface, right click, I'm gonna add a clip plane. So we're now gonna kinda of zoom in here. We'll kinda of come in a little bit closer. And let's say what we're interested in is finding the exact distance there between these two objects. So that's, let's say, not an explicit object face, but just a dimension or a, a, you know, something that's just visible as a function of the clip plane that we've created. So we're now gonna come in and we're gonna also turn on our intersection. We're gonna go to measure, linear. So now I come in and I can select that point and that point and you can see it's exactly 22 millimeters. So again, another example where Visicon snapping options allow you to take very, very accurate measurements of your models. So again, we're gonna clear our measurement and get rid of this clip plane. Next, let's explore, if we go to home, let's take a look at the center line. So I'm gonna turn off surface and clip plane and center line again works with point and edge and if we come in here, we see we have some peers. And if it's our intention to find out and verify exactly what the center to center distance is there, again, we come to measure. We have our center line snap set up. So I go from linear. So anything that's an extrusion you see here clearly now highlights that center line. And I go to the next point and that tells me exactly three meters is what my center to center distance is on those peers. We're going to delete that measurement and explore our last one, which is the grid line measurement. So we see some grid lines in this room. So we're gonna to go to home. This time we're gonna to switch to grid line and actually we'll keep center line and grid line as well as intersection. So we're gonna add another clip plane. And our objective is to find exact distance between the center line of this column and this grid line right there. So we're gonna to go to measure linear. So you see I'm picking up that intersection and I'm hovering over to picking up where that column is. There we go, I've picked up the column and you can see it's exactly 1.5 meters. If I select that, you can see the exact horizontal distance that I've selected now 1.5 meters that's based on the center line of that column and the exact intersection of that grid line. Switching back to our summary slides, and in conclusion, we have four new snapping options, surface, center line, grids, 
and clip plane sections that combine give you a lot of flexibility in being able to navigate through your model and take accurate measurements. And those can be further customized by turning on and off point, edge, angle, and intersection options. Thank you again for watching our video. And if you want to inquire about licensing or want to request a free intro version, contact sales at visicon.com.